Hi YouTube, this is Darkcom633 and we're back with another Transformers review. This is we're going to take a look at Legends Class Bumblebee in the Titan Returns line. And it's the last of the Wave 3 Titan Returns Legends that I'm reviewing on my channel. Now I have to say out of the three figures, this one kind of is a bad figure in my opinion. It might just because my copy might be a lemon, but mine has a lot of problems, especially when I took it out of the box to begin with. Before we go on to the figure itself, we're going to take a look at the character card. The character card shows a design of Bumblebee. If I remember correctly, this is actually based on that recent Transformers app on tablets and so on, but I forgot exactly what it was called. I think it was called Earth Wars or something. And it has some few stats there. Now we're going to take a look at the box. The box shows his vehicle mode, and while it's not quite the Volkswagen that he was in the original design for obvious licensing reasons, it is a pretty decent update to car form for Bumblebee. It's a picture from Bumblebee there. And he transforms in seven steps with the bio as normal. Now we're going to get on to the figure itself. Now what I have to say right off the bat is parts just do not like to stay on very well on this figure. One being is that this entire compartment here, I think the piece is supposed to peg into the chest cavity, but while it does hold place in some cases, it doesn't hold it in very well. Another problem is that this entire chest compartment decided to pop out when I took it out of the box, and ever since then it just constantly pops off during transformation from time to time, and I find that really annoying. It does also have a lot of empty gaps throughout the body, but there isn't a whole lot to expect since it is a small Legends class figure. Articulation-wise, the head can swivel, but that's about it for the head. He does have ball joints at the shoulders, ball jointed elbows, once again, no waist articulation, but he has ball joints in the hips. A single knee joint that can go in either direction due to transformation. Technically, another joint in the leg there, and that's what technically can be considered ankle articulation, but that's about it. As you can see right there, it's already starting to pop off, and I really do not like that about this figure. To transform it, what we're going to do is turn the panels, open up the chest here, and from this point, we're going to make sure that the head sticks up like this. We're going to pull in to find a inner piece, which will cover the head in vehicle mode on the back. Next, we're going to push in the legs, which from what I could tell is actually something that possibly could have been taken from the original G1 Bumblebee design, since I've seen a lot of reviews and designs where the legs kind of fold in like this and it will actually form the front of the car mode. Do you need to move things into place in order to get everything situated? But once you do, it does peg in and there you go. Next we're gonna do is take these and slide them into the body here. And this where it could become a little bit tricky, especially since mine is a lot of loose joints. Parts just like to pop up all over, and it reminds me too much of Titan Returns Wheelie, and I do not like that about this particular figure. We're going to take the panels and peg them in on both sides. It looks like it's being a little bit nicer to me today. So there you go. And then we're going to take this entire piece here. It's already starting to split a bit. For some reason this front part is keep popping up. There we go. And then, to finish off the transformation, what we're going to do next is take this, slide it over, and it'll peg into the sides here. So, get that together. There we have the back of the car fully formed, and we need to reattach the front piece. As you can see, it has just a lot of paneling problems all throughout. But once you get that together, it should stay in okay. So now we got Bumblebee in his car mode. In this mode, he does maintain the same wheels as any other car transformer. They are the hard plastic. And as long as you get everything together, which isn't too bad, which is the good part, but the wheels all do go on the ground there, so that's nice. You can open up this compartment here. And this is how you actually put in the Titan Master, which I don't really like how it is to put it in. 
We're just going to take clobber again here. You can make him sit inside the car. Let's get him all situated there. So it looks like that or so when he's sitting. And you just close up the top. And now you have a Titan Master driving Bumblebee in his vehicle mode. And once again, it's already causing me more problems here. It's really that the peg just does not want to stay in place. Hopefully by the time Road Burn comes out, it's not going to be as bad for him. But once you do, it does stay in okay, I guess. And that's just kind of the worst part of the figure, in my opinion, that kind of really hurts the overall impression of this particular vehicle mode. And in transformation as well. We're going to quickly transform back into robot mode, and I have to say, if you're a fan of Bumblebee, I guess this is a good figure to get. Especially if you want to get all the minibots in the same scale. Since he is a part of the G1 minibots, this is a pretty decent take on Bumblebee in that particular scale and format. We have gotten a ton of Bumblebee figures over the years, so it's not really a necessity to get in general. I really just got this figure in order to secure the other two legends from BBTS, but... And on its own, it's not a bad mold, it's just, it has a lot of problems with my particular copy of a figure. So, hopefully we'll see a clip jumper and maybe some other retools or repaints of this particular mold in the future as the other minibots. But, once again, if you're a fan of Bumblebee, then I guess this is a good figure to get a hold of. Anyways, please comment, subscribe, and check out Hero Club and Hero Taku. Also check out my Twitter, Darkon633, and... Don't forget to check down the other channels down below. Please check the little bell at the bottom of the screen in order to see my contact go up as soon as possible. And I'm back with more Transformers reviews and more. But for now, I'll be seeing you later, YouTube. Bye.